News 13's David Romero has been covering this story for us on the ground in Los Alamos. David joins us now with the very latest from there. David? Well, Mike, with each live shot that we have out here and the more that the sun comes up, the more we get a better look at what's left of this fire in the sky. Take a look upwards right now. You can see there is just a big, nasty brown and gray cloud that covers a huge area off to the east and south of here. Now, as the, as the fire raged through Sunday afternoon, it seemed to finally calm down around 3 this morning. That's helping that brown cloud. Though the evacuations for, evacuations for Los Alamos and White Rock remain voluntary, county officials want everyone to be prepared. Governor Susana Martinez surveyed the raging fire from Los Alamos just after midnight and stressed her concern for residents and their properties. The Department of Homeland Security and Emergency Management is reminding everyone that even though the evacuations are only voluntary, Voluntary in the Los Alamos and White Rock areas that you should have what they call the five P's ready. And those are people, papers, prescriptions, family pictures, and pets. This way, evacuees will have all the essential documents with them when they leave. And if it comes to it, a smooth trip out of town. County officials say that the truck route and the main hill road 502 coming into Los Alamos remain open in both directions. That's still even current as of this time. We found one resident getting ready around 2 this morning just in case things turn for the worse. I've got pretty much everything packed up and just filling up the car and uh, then I'll start putting the, uh, the boxes and stuff in it. And that gentleman came and spoke with us just about an hour ago and said he was going to leave town. Now, Los Alamos County officials say there was not a big rush of voluntary evacuees leaving last night. If it is necessary, the city of Santa Fe has agreed and volunteered to become a voluntary shelter for people that would have to leave Los Alamos and White Rock, and the possible shelter could be set up at the Santa Fe High School gym. Mike, back to you. Okay, David, that's good to know. Thanks for that updated information. Meanwhile, evacuees from Cochiti Mesa and Los Conchas already have a shelter set up if they need it at the La Cueva fire station. We